Howdy folks, emergency trailer reaction. <laughs> um, I'm not prepared. Uh, my hair's a mess, so I'm wearing a hat. Uh, I haven't shaved my beard in a while. I'm not prepared for on-camera stuff right now, but I have to do this. She-Hulk, attorney at law. The trailer has dropped. Um, I, I, I like, I really like the She-Hulk character. The Hulk character in general, the Hulk family of characters, um, I've always enjoyed. I haven't read the comics for She-Hulk, but I've seen She-Hulk represented in animated and in video games and things. Um, and I've always dug the character and the concept of the character. But Tachana Maslany, I mean, come on. Uh, ever since Orphan Black, if you haven't seen Orphan Black, you've got to watch Orphan Black. Uh, she is just amazing. Uh, she is awesome. And I, when I heard that she was cast in this role, I was just through the roof. I was excited. Um, so I cannot wait to watch this. Um, it's a minute 47, probably a minute or yeah, it might be as much as like a minute 40 or something of actual content. Marvel tends to just make the trailers about the trailers. But anyway, can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited. Let's go. Let's watch this thing all the way through and then we'll go back and look at some details. Here we go. Being a superhero Hulk yeah. is a trial by fire. Who's going to protect the world? Oh, that yeah, the like accident. You? Let's watch it through. Watch it through. I'm Jennifer Walters. I'm a lawyer. I have great friends. Can we get some shots, please? It's an emergency. A uh, demanding job. We just started a superhuman law division, and I want you to be the face of it. Good. And a frustrating family. Good pick. Because we didn't ask for this, but you still got to deal with it. Your transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. <laughs> Whoa. Bruce, kind of feels like if I don't transform, I'm gonna die. Yes, yes, yes. No, no. <laughs> I just want to be a normal, anonymous lawyer. Can you tell us where She Hulk is? Jen, you're a story now. Girl, oh, that CGI looks horrible. Looks crazy right now. You could be an Avenger. Oh, I'm not a superhero. Yes, you are. It's for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason. Is there anything more depressing than dating in your 30s? Yeah, this is the best date I've had in a while. Oh. Should we split some fries? Let's get those to go. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm sure there's no little final scene there, so let's mute this real quick. When I said that's horrible CGI, um, I'll see if I can find that. I just wanted to comment on that room real quick. Um, it's back here. When she looks like in a mirror or something. Uh, oh, right here. She's doing the selfie. That... Just it just struck me in, in, in fluid motion as it was it still images that don't look that bad, although it does look kind of bad there. But in fluid motion it looked like they hadn't quite perfected the CGI for that face yet. It just looks weird. I'm sorry. That's that's why I commented on that. But oh my gosh, yeah. Um and when I said that's the accident here, um, if I'm not mistaken, she my understanding is she she talks about her family, but it's not like it's a genetic thing passed down because we know that, uh, that Banner didn't get it until he, you know, experimented on himself. And uh, in a program that, according to the MCU, was an attempt to replicate the super soldier of Captain America, but it, it went horribly wrong or right, if, depending on how you look at it. Um, but no, she got a transfusion of his blood. Uh, there was an emergency. She has a rare blood type, and, and he was like, she was going to die if he didn't, tra you know, give a transfusion of the blood or something like that. And, um, and that's what gave her the abilities. Um, and I'm guessing that that's what this is, that she gets into a car accident and she's badly injured. I, that's why I said, the, oh, the accident. That's, uh, that was just my guess on that one. Um, as to what, what that particular scene was, although I don't go into great detail about that. Um, I love, you don't get a sense of scale, by the way, until the very end when she's picking up that guy. She's got a big muscular guy. He's like, you know, she's like, well, let's get those fries to go. And then she carries him and he's like half her size. <laughs> um, I don't know 
actual real world dimensions of She Hulk, but I do like how they're they're having her be um, a lawyer and be out and about in her green skin and not being a brute about, you know, she was never a brute. She was always, she always had her, her, her mind. She never lost it. Uh, unlike the original, you know, Banner's original time with Hulk. Um, but I like how they're doing that. Um, and uh, they're not trying to hide it. It's not like a super, you know, like a, a secret identity or anything. I, I enjoy that quite a bit. Um, this is some kind of a crazy prison. When she made the comment about um, adult orphans, I get, I'm guessing that was a reference to Batman, um, you know, DC property as opposed to Marvel, but were there any Marvel orphan adult superheroes? I'm sure there are, but for some reason I can't think of any. I mean, you could consider Captain America to be an orphan since his parents died long before, you know, he, he was unfrozen, but, um, oh, Iron Man, but she already said billionaire. Yeah, she already said billionaire, but I guess adult orphan can mean both things, right? It 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 can definitely be written off as as Tony Stark, but it could also be a kind of a, a wink wink nod to 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 Batman to Bruce Wayne. Um, I think she added it that they added it that way as, as a kind of a wink. I'm guessing in my head canon, it's that way. Um, but I'm loving everything Tatiana's doing in here. Our performance is great. I love the shot, and we know who this guy is, right? Uh, we do. He's been in the MCU before. I can't. Oh, 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 oh. It's the, um, from the Incredible Hulk. He was the, uh, the British military guy who got the serum, um, and became, um, Abomination. Abomination? Yeah. So we would have seen him as Abomination in Shang-Chi, right? But that's who this is, right? Right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's who this is. So he's in this series, which is cool. And we've also got Hulk, obviously. And I love how she says, uh, it kind of looks like if I don't transform, I'm going to die. <laughs> I love it. And then his reaction, of course, when she, uh, this whole bit is awesome. And he's all excited, and then she goes for the door because she's mad at him. And he's like, no, no, no. I just want to be a normal. Oh, I love the scenes, like I said, where she um, is going about life, in this case as a lawyer, I guess. Um, I, I, don't, I think they're going to, because they know it's her in the comics, I believe, I don't think she's going to try to pretend like she's somebody else. I think she's, they probably already know always knew she was related to Banner, right? And Banner's identity is well known, I think, publicly, that he's the Hulk. So, I guess, it's probably public. She's not trying to hide it. Um, uh, here they're trying to see She-Hulk, the press is. Um, I don't know at this point if they know that they're the same person. I'm guessing they will pretty soon. Like I said, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just looked a little off. I'm sure they'll get it better. That was pretty good, though. You know, and she's, she's doing the pose and the dress coming out. That one, that one I liked. I wonder if they're doing any practical for this. And what I mean by that is I wonder if they're doing any shots where um, they can, uh, obviously that was all CGI, but like this. Is there any practical in here? Are they doing any forced perspective and actually just putting her in green makeup? I, I kind of doubt that they're going to do practical green makeup considering... Um, how difficult sometimes it is for actors when they're completely covered in, in particular paints. Um, I wonder with Gamora, did they, did they use practical with her? Was that actual face painting or was that, um, all CGI? I think it was face paint, in which case it's the same shade basically as Gamora. I wonder if they're doing any practical, but they don't have to, they could just CGI the whole thing, but. You know, just basically color, by CGI, what I mean is just post-processing in computers to color her face to the color that they want, the green color they want. Um, and I'm wondering if they do that or if, uh, if it's actual makeup. Because I know there's been some horror stories in the past. Um, if you're a fan of Farscape, the actress who played Zahn had to leave because the makeup was just, it was hurting her physically uh, after a time. So I'm just wondering. 
Um, practical would be cool because then it would be less CGI-y. <laughs> and this one looks really good. So this is either practical or just really good CGI. I, they could get away with practical by doing, doing the perspective right in a lot of the close-ups and stuff and scenes where they're, uh, they could put props in to, to set the scale. Uh, they could certainly do practical. So There's a fight in court. I didn't see that. That went by so fast. Who is she fighting? Somebody who looks like they're super-powered too because why else would She-Hulk be raging? There's been an explosion or something here. There's stuff scattered everywhere, so she must have busted in to the court, I'm guessing. And there's going to be a fight there. I don't know who that is. It's some sort of redhead she's fighting. Whoa, who's this? Who is this? You guys who are really into the comic books for She-Hulk, let me know who you think this is. I have no clue. <laughs> that was... um. Yeah, that's Bruce waking her up. I think he's trying to trigger a change here, I would imagine. What is it called? Mighty... Mighty Moan? No, what is that? Mighty Moan. <laughs> the name of that thing. Oh, I got to look at each one of these things real quick. Okay, here, here's who busted in. I don't know who this is going to be. I'm not even sure who the actor is. I mean, it looks like Peg Bundy. <laughs> and I, I, I'm not making fun of the actor. I'm just saying the way she's dressed, she looks like the character of, of Peg Bundy. Um, so I don't know who that is. But uh, there he is. There's Abomination. So he did transform. Cool shot. Excellent, excellent stuff. August 17th. And like I said, this, this dating thing here at the end is just awesome. This guy is, I guess he's not too huge. The guy right before appeared to be bigger, him. But he's still not a, a, pee, you know, a peewee, not a, not a pipsqueak. And she just like carries him off. Bryce, let's get those to go. <laughs> just carries him off we get the perspective not only of his her size but uh, her strength that's nothing to her he seems to be uh, in for the ride so <laughs> see how that goes um, man this is cool this is exciting um, Tatiana was great um, obviously we didn't see any real deep dramatic uh, readings or lines at this point but the bit where she's with uh uh, with Banner in the uh, in the tank it was absolutely hilarious. Um, I loved all this stuff. Um, just great stuff. <laughs> That's you know yes no. Uh, I think he'd probably win in a fight just because of size, but I don't think they want to fight. She just might want to punch him in the face for doing that to her, but that's about it. Um, I'm super excited. Where are they, by the way? This, it looks like it's cut into the rock. It looks like natural rock back there on that wall. I and mean, this is a cave cut into it. I don't know where they are. Some facility, but is it in a new Avengers facility? Is it something Vanner set up all by himself? I'm trying to get back to uh, where they first appear in here. Here we go. Can't really tell. But this is going to be an excellent scene. I know that. So let me know if you guys are excited about this too and what you're looking forward to. Are you a Tatiana Maslany fan? Did you watch Orphan Black? That would be great to know. If you know who that other guy in the green costume was from the comics, let me know. I, I'm absolutely curious. And, uh, and who the woman is who busts into the courtroom that She-Hulk has to fight, uh, who that character is, that would be excellent as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.